guys, it's Holly, and today we're talking about what goes in your hospital bag for when you're having a baby. Now, there are some important things you don't want to forget. Now, there are some times where you have to rush to the hospital, and you might not have these things, and you'll have to send somebody for them, but it's going to be great if you have your bags packed right by the door just in case you're in a hurry. So here's what I recommend putting in that hospital bag because you could be at the hospital for 24 hours up to three or four days, you just never know. So the first thing you wanna do, I'll just go by what's in here. Um, first, I always bring a pair of slippers because the floors can be cold, they're gonna make you walk around a lot. Definitely a pair of slippers and a pair of socks. Um, definitely a pair of socks because your feet, again, might get cold. You just never know the temperature in the hospital and you wanna be comfortable. You're also going to want a nursing bra because you're going to be nursing from the get-go and you're going to want easy access if you decide to put a bra on like if you're leaving. Normally when you're in your hospital, you're not going to have a bra on. <laughs> so just in case, bring that, the nursing bra. Bring a pair of pajamas that button down the front, again, for easy nursing. Um, definitely a really good idea. Um, don't make them anything super fancy. Obviously, you don't want a nightie. <laughs> you're in the hospital, but a good pair of pajamas Again, they're going to provide pajamas like a shirt, but it's always nice when you have your own stuff. So definitely a pair of pajamas that button down the front. Remember, that's important. Now you're going to want to bring, obviously, some underwear. And these are what you don't want to bring. Just ladies, leave the thongs at home because you know what? <laughs> you're going to need some grandma panties this time. This, I mean, this at the least. Get up, get, go out and buy these. This is your style normally. Go out and buy yourself some big girl underpants because you're gonna be wearing pads that are as big as diapers. Let me tell you because after you have a baby, you bleed a lot and you're gonna need really, you know, good fitting underwear. So <laughs> skip the thongs, bring the big underwear. You're also gonna want some essential toiletries, you know, your deodorant. Bring some makeup. Even if you're not the person that wears a ton of makeup, there's gonna be a lot of photos taken at the hospital and you're gonna to wanna to look your best even after having a baby. And you just want to, you know, it'll help you feel better again if you, you know, brush up a little bit, bring a brush and shampoo, some body wash, because um, you're going to take a shower there, toothbrush, toothpaste, bring some chapstick as well, because, you know, when you're in labor, your lips get really, really dry. So you're going to want to have some chapstick on hand, put it all in your essentials toiletry bag, make sure it's ready to go. So anything, if you have a special lotion for your face, bring it, put it in that bag, and then you can leave that in the bathroom at the hospital. You're going to bring your cameras, your video cameras, your iPad, your phone, but just make sure you bring the chargers for it. Make sure those are in there. If you have a spare, pack it right away. You're, you're not going to be one left with a camera that with a dead battery because that baby, you're going to be want to take a lot of pictures of the baby. You're also going to want a birth plan. Some people, they are very organized and they want the nurses and doctors to be on the same page as them. So you know what? Write it out because you never know. You might get nervous at the hospital. Things might get crazy. You want to make sure you can hand that to the nurse and say, this is kind of what I want. This is what I'm thinking of for my birth. Um, and everybody's just different. So if you're the kind of a birth plan person, definitely make sure it's in your bag. Now, this is just a fun thing. It doesn't have to be in your bag, but it's so fun. It's the I'm the Daddy shirt um, by Daddy and Company. So it just says I'm the daddy, it's for obviously the daddy to be. Now, of course you could give it to him ahead of time, but in the flurry of getting out of the house, maybe you're going quickly, he might forget his daddy shirt. So if you've already packed it in your bag, you have it so he can put it on, there's daddy scrubs, then he can be pretty proud, he's walking around, I'm the daddy. They're, they look like hospital scrubs, but they say I'm the daddy. So those are really fun. You're gonna want a outfit to go home, okay? Now here's the thing guys, your belly might not go back to the way it was on the first day, it probably 99% won't. Um, so you're gonna want, like if it's summer, loose dresses, um, some flexible pants. Definitely don't try to bring the normal pre-pregnancy jeans because you're just gonna upset yourself that you're not getting in them. So bring something like um, an athletic outfit, you know, with the stretchy pants, a nice flowy dress that gives a lot of um, area around the waist. Because let's say you have a C-section, you're not gonna be able to put some like tight jeans on. I mean, at least I couldn't. <laughs> so you wanna, you wanna make sure you have a really cute going home outfit because everyone's gonna be taking pictures of you holding the baby and you wanna look cute. Um, pacifiers, now this is a binky, a nook, pacifier, whatever you wanna call it. The hospital also has these, but if you are set on one brand, one kind, and you want your baby to have that one from the get-go, if you want your baby to have a binky, 
Bring them. I'm telling you, just bring them from the hospital. Tell them, hey, I got the biggie right here. Now, nursing. Nursing can be a little rough on the old nipples on the first couple days, so bring some nursing as a nipple cream. It's going to help you. Um, not everybody uses it right away, but definitely have it in your bag just in case because, like I said, sore nipples, it's hard to breastfeed at first. Also, nursing pads. Really, really good idea because when your milk comes in, your boobs are going to start to leak and it's going to be kind of awkward when you got those cute little pajamas on and they're all wet from your boobs leaking. Um, not a big deal because it's the hospital and everyone expects it, but these are mostly good for you know going home, for the going home outfit with that nursing bra. Just because, like I said, you're not going to be used to the milk coming in and it's, it might just start leaking on you and it may, might make you uncomfortable. Now, finally, you need a outfit for the baby to go home. Um, just something cute, something comfy, something you want him or her to be photographed in. Um, remember, the baby is probably going to be tiny. So don't go ahead and think, I make big, big, big babies. I'm going to buy a three to six month outfit. You know what? Go for the zero to three months. They'll probably even be swimming in that. If it's in the winter, obviously long sleeve, long pants. You could just even do an easy little onesie like this. Like I said, they'll have these little snap shirts for the baby, but it's always good to bring your own outfit for the baby because it, obviously you picked it out. It's going to look adorable in pictures. Also, you want to bring a boppy. Now, I don't, ha I don't have one here to show you, but you want to bring a boppy, um, a nursing pillow. Let's just put it that way. Let's, you want to bring a nursing pillow because when you're first starting to learn how to nurse, it can get tricky and you can definitely stack up pillows. You can hold the baby, but a nursing pillow is going to lift the baby up and take away some of the stress. And... If you're going to have one anyway at home, why not bring it to the hospital? I always did, and it worked out great because um, from the first time I nursed the baby, I just put it around my waist and we're good to go. So nursing pillow is a really great thing to have. Another thing you want to have is a bathrobe. Um, it's not a must-have, but I brought them. Again, it depends on winter baby, summer baby. Summer baby, a really light bathrobe. Winter baby, maybe something warmer. But you want to bring a bathrobe because, again, they're going to make you walk the halls. And you could totally do it in your pajamas, but I just... I liked having a bathrobe for when I went to the bathroom and got up and walked around and where and when you know visitors were over. It's just a good thing to maybe think about if you want to put a bathrobe in here um, as well. So that's that's it. I mean, it's not an overly packed bag. It's just your essentials, but you want to make sure that you have them. Put them all in a nice little suitcase like this. I mean, you could bring a bag too. A nice little suitcase and put it by your door, just right by your front door. So if it's like 4 a.m. and you, your water breaks and you're rushing out the door, well, all you gotta do is grab the bag. Um, so this is a really, you know, this is just an overall of what you need in your hospital bag. Of course, you could bring some books, make sure your iPad has cool music on it, because if you're in labor, labor for a while, you don't want some of your own music. So bring your own music, um, and that's it. You don't need a lot, you really don't. I mean, I've heard of people bringing their own towels because they like their own towels, so they bring like one bath towel to use. Um, it's up to you. So that's it. Um, I also, so that's it. For, you know, if you have anything that you is a must have in your hospital bag, leave us a comment and let us know. I would like to thank our video sponsor this month. It's Halo. And Halo is all about safe sleeping for baby. Now they make those amazing wearable blankets called the sleep sacks. We all know about them, right? Those are those wearable blankets that babies wear in the bed so they don't have to worry about the loose blankets because you don't want loose blankets in your baby's crib. So they make these wearable blankets. They have ones for summer, ones for winter, and I swear by them. That will be one of your best haves for when you bring baby home are those wearable blankets. And they also just came out this month with the Halo Bassinet Swivel Sleeper. Now this is an amazing bassinet because it help, kind of lets you co-sleep with your baby with taking the danger out of it. So what it is, it's a bassinet that goes right by your bed and actually hangs a little bit over your bed and it swivels 360 degrees. So it gives the baby their own environment to sleep in while mom sleeps right there next to them. And then when it's time to nurse, mom sits up, the baby's right there, she can nurse. And then when she has to go to the bathroom and get out of bed, the bassinet swivels out of the way so it's not blocking the side of the bed. So she can easily get in and out of bed. I'm telling you, this swivel sleeper is amazing. You definitely have to check it out. Um, guys, please support our sponsors because they help us bring these videos for you. So check out Halo's products and that's it for us today. Don't forget to leave us a comment. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel because our YouTube subscribers, they are really important to us and you don't want to miss anything, right? So that's it for me. I will talk to you next time. I'm Holly from Baby Gizmo.